Hi, I'm Oliver, art collector for several years now, and today I want to talk about the pros and cons of being an art collector, about my collection and how I started. What are the pros? Living with art can improve your life quality. It can calm you down, it can make you think about art, it can change your view about life or certain topics. My main motivation is to support uh, young and great artists to become well known and my personal goal is to have an effect as a collector. What are the cons? Um, most people see art as a very expensive uh, and don't want to pay so much for it. Yes, it is reasonable, but please see the huge and long work what it takes to create such kind of works. Um, value the artist's time and knowledge and to support them continue working and doing what they love. Um, now let's talk about my collection. My collection is called Cuperia Collection. Um, the word Cuperia or Cuperia is a combination of the Latin word Cupera, which means desire, and Prior, the precursor. Uh, why did I choose this name and how does it reflect in my collection? I had the intention to give the collection a specific name uh, which describes its focus the best and is easy to recognize. Uh, I combined these two words as a collection name. Um, the theme desire is linked to the selection of the best pieces by an artist uh, because the pieces, these pieces always have the potential to uh, erase or stay in value um, and the art market is always looking for the best. Uh, in general, not all expensive art is good, I have to say, but the best is always expensive. Um, prior or precursor is linked to buy uh, artists with potential at early age. Uh, so some of them just had their first solo show or finished studying. Um, with this concept in ideation, I think it's always easier to guide interested persons towards your idea and your philosophy, uh, since your personal name could mean a lot and doesn't show your focus and target of your collection. Um, my collection, Cooper Collection, was founded back in 2016 and is focused on contemporary African art and its diaspora. Uh, probably now you're asking uh, why art from this region. Um, I saw a huge potential and opportunity in contemporary African art because it was not, uh, not so much on view for a long time and really considered in the art world, uh, which changed a couple of years ago and the continent gets the attention it deserves. Um, it's still like a lot of art from these regions are quite accessible and have a huge potential to grow. So if you're interested in it, um, I, would, uh, I would advise you to have a closer look into it. It's very good for studying as well. Um, my advice is for you to how to start your collection. Uh, first, think about what you like, uh, that's the most important thing, which art and artist medium attract you the most. Second, um, you have to, to train your eyes and to see and judge art. Go to museum, go to art fairs, go to galleries and try to see the difference between the works. That's very important and uh, the base for everything. Um, third, I'm thinking about if I'm thinking about a new piece, I'm integrating a picture into my collection, and see how it works together with all other pieces. Um, do not look uh, at a single work, rather look at the broad picture. Imagine you're the creator of a museum show, uh, just with your works. Uh, furthermore, you have to ask yourself: Does it add something to your collection? What do you exactly like about it? What are the arguments? for and of, against of buying it. Um, despite of this, it's always mandatory to do your research, do your homework um, and find out what the artist has already been done. For example, uh, where did he exhibit it, uh, which are the artist's galleries, in which museums and collections is the artist in, or which foundations um, bought their art. Be critical, but listen as well to your instinct. This is my last and most important uh, advice to you. Um, listen to your gut feeling. It's your collection. Um, be critical, don't listen to too many people in the art world. Follow your instinct, because it's your collection. Uh, 
If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel and uh, leave some great comments or some comments below so I can improve the next one. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time.